Alex Trebek, the host of Jeopardy died. And um, I guess the reason I just want to talk about it for a second is because I don't know how many people do this nowadays. I'm going to guess the numbers are really small, but Jeopardy has been on forever. I don't know what the, the, um, the real numbers are, like how many years Jeopardy has been on TV, but let's see, I'm 50. I got to think Jeopardy has been on television 35 years. I'm just, I'm taking a stab here. Do you watch, you watch Jeopardy Browner? No, bro. No. Why not? No for 200, Alex. <laughs> no. <laughs> Things I watch other than Jeopardy, Alex, for 200. Right. No, I, I, I've never been a big fan of Jeopardy. I've never really been a big fan of those, uh, that Will of Fortune. Uh, uh, I love The Price is Right, though. But outside of that, I've never really been a big fan of that kind of stuff. 1984 mm -hmm. was the first episode, February 1984. Oh, so we're talking 36 yeah. years. Yep. 36 years, Alex Trebek. And I, I, he was the original host, right? I mean, I don't think there's ever I been anybody else. Should the, That's the you question. Imagine, should the show continue? I'd say the answer is yes. Do you guys ever watch Sports Jeopardy? It's hosted by Dan Patrick on NBC Sports yes, Network. No. I've seen it before. I'll watch um, Sports Jeopardy, and people are like, damn, dude, you should go on Real Jeopardy. And I'm like, no. <laughs> No, this is just sports they stuff. They ask other it's questions. Not... Yeah, right. In real Jeopardy, they ask questions about things that smart people <laughs> yeah, know. Like Dan Patrick just asks sports questions. Uh, Jeopardy's on Netflix right now all of a sudden, and uh, I've been watching a lot of just older episodes, and um, I'm smart. I should go on Jeopardy. I know a lot of stupid, random things. And the thing about Jeopardy, though, is like it's not what you know. It's, how, it's like getting the clicker going. So it's easy, you know, I'm sitting on my couch, I'm like, oh, I know that, but I'm not like competing another against another buzzer. Well, it's the buzzer, and the other part of it is is um trying to process the information fast enough. Right. Because a lot of times you can find the answer in the question. Yeah. Or you can oh, find in the, the clue. question in the answer. Too. Like a lot of times the clue, it's it's it gives it a lot of it away. So um, or the topic, whatever it's called. I love Jeopardy, dude. I so, think uh, I'm opposite of Browner. I grew up literally every night, seven o'clock, Wheel of Fortune, seven thirty, Jeopardy, eight o'clock. Really, not. I don't. It all changed after that. But that's how I grew up watching that. I still watch it to this day. Where, where's it on? NBC. Oh, really? Because that's the way I think it used to be. Is it would go Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, or I think it would go like local evening news, followed by like national news. And yeah. then Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, like that yeah. block of time, and then into prime yeah, time. Yeah, into prime time TV. So Alex Trebek, what a career, right? I mean, what an incredible career to have 36 years as the host of a TV game show. And what was so amazing about Alex Trebek was he actually made you believe that he knew the answer when you yeah. didn't. So when 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 the answer was not correct by the contestants, Trebek would give you the answer. And then you would be like, he knew that. <laughs> yeah. He actually knew that. Like he, it wasn't him reading it. You know, it was like, he actually knew that. Wow. Alex Trebek is a freaking genius. And I don't remember how long ago it was. It doesn't seem that long ago that he was diagnosed with, was it pancreatic yes. cancer? So anybody who knows anything about cancer knows that pancreatic cancer is the bad one. I mean, like the really bad one. Like when you hear somebody has pancreatic cancer, you're like, oh, that's, that's done. I mean, that's over. Sad as that may be. And um, again, I don't know if it was six months or if it was a year, but he battled it. And, and as far as I knew, he was still hosting Jeopardy yep. in, until he couldn't mm -hmm. anymore. So you asked the question, should Jeopardy go on with Alex without Alex Trebek? You don't no. think so? Really? No. I mean, it's not the same. It's, it, this is a total random comparison but it's just never the same when when regis left who wants to be a millionaire it wasn't the same when bomb barker That's left true. price is right it wasn't the same like you could just get a it becomes symbiotic with each other when you do it for 36 years whoever the next guy is will never be as good and and and, and you never really know until you try it i guess but i i just think jeopardy is alex trebek and i'm sure there's Wayne lots Frank, of people but... and i'm sure there's lots of people employed buy that show that that would love it to continue and i'm not saying for that reason i'm saying i just think alex trebek is jeopardy like that like pat sajak is wheel of fortune like that's just the way i see it but the, you know but there but there was a time where pat sajak left the wheel of fortune do you know this no oh yeah pat sajak left the wheel of fortune 
And he went, you don't know this. Pat Sajak started a late night TV show. He was, you know, I, there was um, Jay Leno, there was David Letterman. And I don't know where Pat Sajak was on, but I'm telling you, Pat Sajak had a late night TV talk show. Sounds terrible. Now, wait. Now, do you know who hosted the Wheel of Fortune when Pat Sajak Trebek. left? Trebek. I'm just kidding. I don't Tom know. Selleck. Nope. Tom Selleck. What did you say? Tom Selleck. <laughs> no, it wasn't Tom who? Selleck. Which white guy? I'm a, you guys don't know. I'll blow your mind. You guys have, have no, no idea, idea who hosted Rosie O'Donnell. Nope. Oh. I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. A former and still to this day loved and adored San Diego Charger. Dan Fouts. Don no. Correo. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The the when Pat Sajak left the Wheel of Fortune, Rolf Bernerska became no the way. host of the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that one going never work. knew that. name like that. That wasn't gonna work. He should have changed his name. Okay, but I'm gonna just tell you guys. You see, Alex says that Jeopardy should not go on without Alex Trebek. Let me if this is off the top of my head. Wheel of Fortune went on without Pat Sajak, and I know Rolf Bernerska hosted, and I think there may have even been somebody else who hosted but for how long? Wheel of Fortune. Wasn't not for wasn't that long because, for a little bit too. She may have left also. I'm not positive. I think you might be right. But here's what happened. Sajak was unsuccessful as a late night talk show host. So he came back to Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. You know, he's like, this sucks. I don't like being typecast. I'm just the host of Wheel of Fortune. Then he left. He's like, this sucks. Nobody watches my late night TV show. You know what I should do? Go back to Wheel of Fortune. And to this day, Pat Sajak is still hosting Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Just like So there's, there's different ways you can look at it. Because to me, the late show was David Letterman, right? And when he retired, they kept it going. And now it's Colbert. But it's not the same show. Like it's not, not even close. Good, so with this, no, right? I'm not. I think it's really good too. But with this, it, it's gonna be the same show. Where I think. Okay, so hold on. But let me throw out some ideas to you. You ready? If I'm you gonna say, try and convince you, you that, Ryan Seacrest. I'm I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Ryan guys, Seacrest has had has enough, enough jobs. Yeah. Okay. Wait. So. When when Jeopardy ends with Alex Trebek, the question is, should it go on with somebody new? Okay. okay. So The Price is Right had Bob Barker. Bob Barker leaves, and they've had Drew, Carey. what's his name? Carrie. Drew Carey ever since, mm -hmm. right? I heard you mention Wayne Brady earlier, Browner. So what's the name of that show that Wayne Brady hosts? Who's um, anyway? who side? Who, who's Whose line is it anyway? No, no, no. That's not the same show. Oh, um, Whose line is it anyway is the... Um, that was it's also the one about Drew like Carey. behind door. Right. But this is behind door number one, behind door number two, behind door number three. Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Okay. So let's make a deal has gone on. These are game shows that have gone on. Price is right has gone on. Let's make a deal has gone on, minus the original host. You mentioned who wants to be a millionaire went on beside without Regis. It's back Fulton. again. Yes, I've seen Jane that. Lynch. Or something think, like that. Isn't Jimmy Kimmel hosting that? No, Jane Lynch is. Oh. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Okay, wait. There's other game shows though. There. Okay, okay. Here's one. You ready? How could I have forgotten this one? Your hey, man Steve Harvey. I'm your man oh, Steve God. Harvey. We got a good one for you. Yeah. Hey. But listen, they've had like Family five or Feud. six. Right. So that's my point. Family Feud went from Richard Dawson into whatever the other guy's name was into Louis Anderson, and Steve Harvey. So here's the thing. These game shows. People love these game shows. Yeah, we all loved Alex Trebek, and yes, he always convinced us he knew all about what he was talking about. But why would you not want to put keep the show alive? Just find the next right. guy. Well, you're gonna, or you're gonna have to convince me on who then. You know what I mean? Like, it. And I would, I would watch it, I guess. But I, I personally just think like, dude, thirty six years. You, you are what you are. You're like Jeopardy's not like some like monster rating bonanza. That so, I, I like who, who, who do you have in mind? Me? I would watch it if you do it because I know you don't know the answers to it. <laughs> <laughs> because that's one of my favorite parts about Jeopardy is that when a contestant mispronounces the correct answer and Trebek has to be like, no. And then somebody's like, says the right answer. He goes, yeah. like Or he has to say the right pronunciation. Like, you can't right. even say I bone the guy. So I'm not sure how you're going to be the host of Jeopardy. I would say when somebody answers the question, what are Albodangas? I'd be like, or if somebody says, what are albondigas? I'd be like, ooh, sorry. It's what is albodangas? Right. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You have to so, have like hey, a nice listen. caressing, like, ooh, not it. Yeah. 
I do like Dan Patrick though on uh, on, on real Jeopardy. Jeopardy. No, on Sports Jeopardy. Because it'd be a big think, check if we get real Jeopardy. I think if they do Jeopardy, if they keep going with Jeopardy, they're gonna get a younger guy to try and go long term again. They're not gonna get like DP. Mm. He's got a little health issues. He's a little older. I'm not sure if you do no, it, but but you, if you go young, that person won't seem smart enough to actually seem like they know <laughs> the answer to every question. It has to be a person with a little bit of gray hair, so that gray hair gives you the 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 belief that this person is smart. But it can't be Dan Patrick because he does a sports version, and everybody thinks people who know sports don't know anything else. How about if you get your man John King from CNN, Ooh, the guy who knows perfect. how to use sports? Now that's perfect. a guy right Good there. Suggestion. <laughs> Rachel Maddow would be good too. Would she? Yeah. Yeah. I All think right. she'd be good. All right. How about Sean Hannity? How, how'd he do? Uh, no. Yeah, no. of course.